Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. Now I wanted to do a uh, response to this video done by the elder apostle Gabar. And the title of the video is what reckons the nation of Israel right now? The Holy Spirit, not the way you look. Okay. The YouTube page is daily edification. All right. Exhortation three. All right. Make sure you subscribe and be constantly edified through the Holy Spirit. All right. Because uh, pretty soon these videos and the true narrative of the Holy Scriptures will be outlawed. Okay. In Babylon, the great and around the world. This is why we. All right. Of the hopeful elect. All right. Are not using our grace period to wax more proud in the flesh and carnal things that have no reckoning on our salvation. All right. But are building ourselves up in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because the flesh profited nothing. All right. None of these carnal possessions we have, these uh, uh, bodies that we, we have now. All right. Um. They profit nothing in the grand scheme of things, all right? They're just vessels, all right, that have been uh, used, okay, for our spirits to be quickened in these latter days and put forth works that would fulfill prophecy, all right? And that's what I wanted to speak on in response to this video because it is an absolute gift that we have received in these latter days that reckons that we are indeed the true seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? As we're going to show you when you go into biblical prophecy, okay, there was a promise given unto Abraham, okay? His seed, which the Lord told Abraham, your seed would be as the sand of the sea, all right? When you go to the book of Isaiah, it further expounds upon that, okay? Okay? Because uh, Abraham passed the promise down to Isaac. Isaac then passed the promise down to Jacob. Okay. Now what was told to Jacob? All right. As a matter of fact, before we start the lesson, I'll get that. These are some things to focus on. All right. So none of us should be proud. Being proud is the last thing any of us Israelites should be. All right, especially boasting in some damn skin color. All right, when we've been punished, scattered, right? This is the book of Genesis 35 and 10. And God said unto him, thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel, which is Yashar Allah. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, speaking to Jacob, and kings shall come out of thy loins. All right. We're going to be a nation of kings and priests when it's all said and done. And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac to thee will I give it and to thy seed after thee will I give the land. All right, and to thy seed, Jacob's direct seed. So look up the word seed. All right, Zerai, right? Seed sowing offspring. All right, offspring descendants. Okay, now when you go into prophecy, all right, it was told to Abraham that his seed would be as the stars of heaven. And that would be through Isaac and Jacob, right? And as you see here, okay, it's told to Abraham, Genesis 15 and 5, and he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now towards heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. He said unto him, So shall thy seed be. So there will be a very, very large amount of Israelites. All right. Let's go down here 
to Genesis 22 and 17. That in blessing I will bless thee, in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven and as the sand which is upon the seashore. And all thy seed, all of them, shall possess the gate of his enemies. All right? And it starts with a particular order. But eventually all Israel, all that seed will be blessed. Right? Genesis 26 and 4. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven. And I will give unto thy seed all these countries, which is the promised land. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Okay? Starting with the Israelites, all right, being uh, gathered from these particular uh, nations where we've scattered. Eventually, the blessing of the Israelites being perfected and put in their rightful order under Yahawashai will be a blessing unto all nations as well. All right, but it starts with the Israelites among these nations being blessed, all right, and delivered. All right. One more. Exodus 32 and 13. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, which is Jacob, thy servants, to whom thou swearest by thine own self. All right. See, this is all we have in these latter days is the mere promise that the Lord gave. All right. And I'm going to tie it all together in just a second. All right. And said unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven. And all this land that I was spoken, I will give unto you and your seed, and they shall inherit it forever. All right, now we can go here to the book of Hosea. Okay, the first chapter. Okay. 1 and 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Okay, and that's till this day, right now. All right, which cannot be measured nor numbered. That means there are a lot of Israelites walking around, right? And it shall come to pass that in a place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall it be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. Why? Because we're going to be obedient. All right, and then we can put it all together on Isaiah the 10th chapter. Okay, always go to the scripture, Isaiah 10. Okay. And 21, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the Almighty God. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. Right? The consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. Okay? So as we go into prophecy, clearly, okay, in the latter days, the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Isaiah 44 and 3, I for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground, the dry bones, right? And I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. All right, so going back to the question that was asked in the title of this video, what reckons the nation of Israel right now? The Holy Spirit, not the way you look. OK. The only <laughs> thing we have at this point is the spirit. The fact that we've been quickened in these latter days are clear indicators that we are of the seed of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, which the seed of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob is here. How do we know they're here? Well, when you go to Jeremiah, the 33rd chapter or the 31st chapter. OK, really quick. Jeremiah 31 and 35, thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day and the ordinances of the moon of the stars and the light by night, which divided the sea when the waves thereof roar. Yahweh, the Lord of armies is his name. All right. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel shall also cease from before me. All right, forever from being a nation. Right? So, right now I'm looking out the window and the sun is out. Okay, when you look outside, all right, the moon is there. So, what does that mean according to the Holy Scriptures that the seed of Israel is still in the earth? 
amongst various other prophecies. Now, the question is, in these times, what will determine if you're an Israelite? Because there's a lot of carnal questions that can come about of our belief. And these carnal questions so doubt. That's why we are to walk in the spirit. Okay? Because the gift of faith are the indicators that we are that seed. All right? So what we're going to do, I typed in gift. We're going to look at a lot of these various scriptures. Okay? But I'm also going to go back to the book of Ephesians. Two, and I'm going to start at one. Because there's a point I want to make. Because we have been made alive in Hamashiach Yahawashai. Okay? If you are fervently watching these videos, if you're fervently going out teaching, dedicating your life to repentance, calling on the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, getting your act together, okay, helping to build the tabernacle of David, you are an Israelite. How do we know? Because it will you are you are a vessel chosen to fulfill what's written that the remnant, the offspring directly of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob would do in the latter days. That right there should what what lay aside all of the, the, the mental turmoil you'll go through with what you call so-called race mixing, the captivities we've been in, right? The Lord made a promise, all right? And he, he told us, he gave us clear indicators that we see every day in the form of the sun and the moon that the, 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 to let us know the seed of Israel are still here. See, Christianity, all of these other philosophies, doubt, weak niggas, all right, are trying to do everything they can to make these carnal arguments to say, well, the seed of Israel can't be here. Well, how can you know you're an Israelite? How can you have a 12 tribes chart? We are fulfilling what is written. The 12 tribes chart is written. We'll get to that in another video after this one. Dealing with carnal arguments. See, when you walk in the spirit... Let's get that real quick. Galatians 5 and 16. This I say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the, the flesh. Walk in the spirit. All right. Romans 8 and 1. Therefore now. There is therefore now no condemnation to them, all right, which are in Yahweh Hamashiach, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Right? So when you walk after the flesh, all of these doubts, all of these arguments, and these things come into your mind. There's, there, you, there can be a point where you hear a brother saying something, and a carnal argument that you know a nigga can make will come in your mind. That's where you have to walk in the spirit to overcome the flesh because the flesh and the spirit are not made, all right, to, to, to play in the same arena, all right? The only thing we have is mere promise and faith <laughs> in these times to prove we're Israelites, all right? So let's break it down. Ephesians 2 and 1, made alive in Hamashiach, the anointed one. We don't use the term Christ. Okay. Serapis Christus was called Christ. Okay. We're dealing with the Messiah, Hamashiach. All right. The son of the most high, Yahawashai. Who came in the flesh through the, through the loins and lineage of David. Through a union between his father, Joseph, and his mother, Mary. To fulfill what was written. Okay, and a lot of people, when he came on the scene, they, they didn't want to believe that he was the one written to do all of these things. And there he was. All right. And you had some who believed it. Ephesians 2 and 1. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Now, look at your former life. Look at your former thought process. Did you battle demons in the past? No, you played up on any emotion, any act, you did anything, you ate anything, you didn't have any thought all right, of, 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 of you being wrong. But now you have this new, renewed mind to stop, to repent, 
to prophesy, to watch videos, to be built up in the true understanding of the scriptures. You don't think that accounts for anything? That you could be a vessel chosen in the latter days to fulfill the prophecy of the remnant returning? So again, what reckons the nation of Israel right now that we don't have physical records? Okay, genealogical records. The Holy Spirit. Not the way you look. Ephesians 2 and 1. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Wherein in times past ye walked according to the course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air. Esau. Satan. We, we looked at the most high. We looked at manhood. What a woman was. How children should be according to Esau and Satan's all right rebellious mindset all right so in times past we walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air this is why we have to grow the hell up we have to get outside of this these western standards of what we think is right and wrong because they all rebel against the true intent of yahweh bashim yahweh shai and that goes for men and women because there's a lot of you who, who, who cannot let go of the West in the way that you were raised and what you thought a man or, or how life should be or how family should be or how, how anything should be. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. And you don't want to be in that number. Right? Because there's a lot of Israelites who have woken up to the fact that they're Israelites but they're still in that, that disobedient mindset. Still creating fake pages, making the same arguments, mad. Women, you, you got women who find out they're Israelites and then they try to figure out ways to stay in the, in, 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 in the position of uh, authority over the men, telling us what we can and can't do, what we should and shouldn't say, what we go do in the kingdom and what we can't do in the kingdom. Right? That's the children of disobedience. You better fall back and pray. Because here it is. A, a lot of the emotions you have. Why don't you pray about it and fast about it? Instead of constantly coming onto the comment board, laying open your folly. Now you've put that energy out there. You're going to have to pay for that, man. Because why? You're walking according to the course of this world. And you're trying to figure out a way to keep your worldly position that Esau gave you. Or, 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 or mindset that Esau gave you that had you at ease instead of dealing with the, with the fact that the ancient ways and the ways that the Heavenly Father and His Son set things up are contrary to that. It's a whole nother lesson, a whole nother time. Let me keep going. Among whom we have all had our conversation in times past in the lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. We were wicked as hell, man. Okay? Before we found out we were Israelites. Okay? The thing is, prophetically, when you go into prophecy, eventually the elect, the remnant, would turn from these ways. But God, who was rich in mercy, all right, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Hamashiach. By grace are ye saved. See that? By grace ye are saved. And what is grace? That's what we're under now. We're not any under any covenant agreement with the Most High at this point. He gave us a grace period to fight to get into that second covenant. And the grace period is where you're not judged. All right technically by the law but by your intent so through your grace period what do you do you keep the laws to the best of your ability understanding that it is a gift that you even have the faith that you have you don't wax proud you humble yourself okay and you offer up a sacrifice all right within these de decrepit bodies that can be acceptable to yahweh by the yearning of your spirit okay and have raised us up together because the Lord didn't have to give us a grace period. 
What if the Lord said the only way to be come back to us is through that first covenant and keeping the laws perfectly? We be done. So it is a gift. Okay? A grace period is a period where you ultimately get yourself together. All right? You didn't have the money to pay the bill. All right? The bill was paid for you. Now you have a grace period to go get the money. All right? And here it is. Your electricity is still on. You didn't have the money to pay the electricity bill, but you've been given a grace period. Okay? To get the money. So you can pay the bill. That's mercy. Not getting what you do deserve. Right? So by grace are you saved. And that's the mercies of David that we're fighting for. All right? And that's what the Gentiles received. Okay? Because we went all the way off. Ephesians 2 and 6. And have raised us up together. And made us sit together in heavenly places in Hamashiach Yahweh By what? The Holy Spirit, the understanding you have. Now your mind is in the heavens. Now you're viewing things from a whole different perspective. Here's the point. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Yahweh Shai. And we're in the very end. The ages to come equals now. As a matter of fact, let's get 2 Thessalonians, the first chapter. And this is speaking of the end time. All right. As a matter of fact, I'll start at... Uh, Six and seven, then I'll jump down. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. And where are you resting at in this word? The secret place of the heavenly father with this hidden manna we've received. All right, in this spiritual wilderness to sustain us. Because we lose our damn minds, man. If we didn't have this faith. What would you be doing? What would be your faith right now looking at this world as it is without knowing what you know right now? And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Okay. In flaming fire, taking vengeance upon them that know not the most high and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, all right, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power, all right, and that everlasting is just symbolic, all right, of the, the, the absolute hell that's coming to you people, okay? It says, when he shall come to be glorified in his saints, all right? to it be admired in all them that believe because our testimony among you was believed in that day see that because our testimony the testimony of the holy apostles and prophets which they left for us which we have by record in the form of the holy scriptures was believed all right was believed in that day all right, to be admired in all them that believe because our testimony among you, as we're among the Gentiles, was believed in that day, in that day, right? So going back here, okay? Ephesians 2 and 7, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, in which that is our mediator and high priest who sends us the Holy Spirit of understanding, which is a gift. All right, which that gift is the indicator that you're an Israelite. 
for by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. This is a gift. Let's look up the word gift. Okay. <laughs> Dor Doron, a gift of presence. Okay. Gifts offered in expression of honor. Okay. Money cast into the treasury of the uh, per, for the purposes of the temple and for the support of the poor, and we have that in the spiritual sense. Okay, gifts presented as expressions of honor. Okay, so reading this again, for by grace are ye saved through faith. Okay, so we've been given a grace period. And then the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son sent us and quick, quickened us through the Holy Spirit. He sent us faith, man. Which is a gift and a clear indicator that you are Abraham's seed through Isaac and Jacob in which the promise was given to. You could very well be an heir to that promise through faith. And that not of yourselves, we didn't wake ourselves up. We didn't give ourselves this fervency to believe on this. It is the gift of the Most High. Not of works, and it's damn sure not of skin color, lest any man should boast. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Okay? Not of skin color. Lest any man should boast. You boasted in being dark skinned, but right now there's a black ass Elamite up the street. Okay? There's a black ass uh, 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 Arab. There's a lot of black people on the earth, so called black. Really, you just have darker skin. So, what reckons the nation of Israel right now that we don't have the actual records? The Holy Spirit is all we have, which is a gift. Not the way you look. This is the point we're making here. Okay? Because when you go to the book of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, where it, it gives a prophecy of us being in Babylon the Great, scattered amongst the world as dry bones, particularly here in Babylon the Great, Ezekiel, who symbolizes the prophets, has to go out and prophesy. Right? Right? So as he prophesied, what happened in verse 10? So I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they lived and stood upon their feet. We were alive, but we haven't lived until we received this Holy Spirit, which is an indicator. What? That we're Israelites and they lived and stood upon their feet an exceeding great army. Okay. Okay. Who, 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 who would stand on their feet? Verse 11. Then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Right? So the heavenly father woke us up. Right? You, you ultimately, this body, this flesh you were given is only a vessel chosen to fulfill this prophecy. Okay? That's it. <laughs> so that's the indicator that you're an Israelite because you're doing this right now you say well what if you got an agent acting like an Israelite well he's going to lose how about that First Timothy 4 13 till I come give attendance to reading exhortation and to doctrine neglect not the gift that is in thee which was given to thee by prophecy. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which is given thee by prophecy. Let's get an example of this gift that was given unto us by prophecy. Baruch. Baruch, the second chapter, in the 30th verse. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities... They shall remember themselves. Right? 
and shall know that I am the Lord their God, for I will give them hearts, a mind, and ears to hear. You've received the Holy Spirit to receive the teaching of the prophets, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. Or ain't your ass in captivity praising the Lord? And think upon my name. Are not you thinking upon his name? Right? And shall return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. Now you're repenting. Now you're thinking, damn, I got to get this right. Damn, my thinking ain't right. I got I to, gotta, you know, you have a, a, a more humble and contrite mind. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. See that? <laughs> and I will increase them and they shall not be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God. And they shall be my people, and I will no more drive my people Israel out of the land that I have given them. So it all ties together with the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But according to prophecy, there had to be a falling away and a great awakening amongst a remnant who would return to be heirs to the promise. Okay, so let's go back here. First Timothy 4 and 14, neglect not the gift that is in thee. When you start to make this about skin color and this and that, you're neglecting the gift. The fact that you woke up is a gift. You should be happy. You should be, oh my goodness, you see anyone else with the gift, you should, you should be like, oh my God. Wow. You could be one of those, those these very spirits, because Ezekiel, these are visions that they saw. So they look, they saw you, John. He saw Baruch. They saw you doing what you're doing now. So you were born into the earth for the purpose of receiving this gift. And you want to cry about some goddamn skin color. You, 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 you really, you're a problem that needs to be X'd out. Right? With the laying on of the hands of the presbytery, which are the heads of the churches, man. Meditate on these things and give thyself wholly unto them, that thy profiting may appear to all. A lot of you haven't even thought about the great gift you've received. It hasn't even resonated with you. You're so full of pride and contention and looking for an argument, looking for something to say. Creating these fake pages, and I cannot wait for the Lord to get you niggas who create fake pages just to scoff that is a weak little nigga man that's weak show yourself man break it down take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine continue in them for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee this is why we're so keen about the doctrine now, yeah, we have faults as men. You could always find fault. All right? But the Holy Spirit, Rahakwadash, is here. All right? And that's how you mark the perfect man, not by his, his slip-ups in the flesh and his, you know, his issues, but by the Holy Spirit that is placed upon that man. Right? So we have all that are serious about this word being given a gift. Okay? This is a gift. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's so many scriptures that deal with a gift, man. You know? Let's get a few of them. Because with this gift, you got to have charity as well, man. As a matter of fact, this is 1 Corinthians 13 and 2. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. If you don't have that true agape love and appreciation for what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is doing and waking up these brothers and sisters, okay, you putting, you give them, you putting, giving them hell, messing with their faith, 
constantly coming up with with new arguments that are based upon the flesh. Hey man, you don't you 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 are nothing, man. First, Second Corinthians one and eleven. Ye also helping together by prayer for us, that for the gift bestowed upon us. By the means of many persons, thanks may be given by many on our behalf. All right. Second Corinthians 8 and 4. Praying us with much entreaty that we would receive the gift and take upon us the fellowship of the ministering unto the saints. Because all of these things were prophesied, even at the time of Paul. Okay. It was prophesied that the Gentiles would come in and then they were coming in. And you had all of this stir. And that's where you get the book of Acts where James and, and the rest of the, the heads of the church were like, wait a minute. This is a fulfillment of prophecy. <laughs> the Gentiles are ultimately the tabernacle of David. All right. Now, the fulfillment of the tabernacle of David wasn't then. Right. But that was the, a part of it. Right. It's going to be fulfilled in these times that the fullness of the Gentiles would come in, all right, through faith. 2 Corinthians 9 and 15, thanks be unto the Most High for his unspeakable gift. Do you understand this, this gift that you've been given in this flesh is absolutely amazing that you can go and read about something that you're doing that was written before you did it before you were born you grew up okay you didn't know what in the hell you went to the elementary school you did all of these things and now you've awakened unto this great awakening hallelujah yahweh bashim yahweh shai man call halal yahweh bashim yahweh shai man goodness gracious man Ephesians 3 and 7, wherefore I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Ephesians 4. As a matter of fact, we got we got we gotta we gotta get this in seven, but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of a Mashiach. Now, what does Proverbs say? Proverbs 18 and 16. A man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men. So the, your gift of faith is going to make room for you ultimately on the chariot. But even now, it's bringing you before these great men. We have been brought before great men. Okay? The Lord said, your eyes shall see your teachers. Some men want to make it about how your garments match, how neat you look. No, we make it about the Holy Spirit. That's all that matters. That's the indicator. Okay? How you look, how dark you are. How dark you ain't niggas going to find any way to make an argument. Wherefore, said he, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now, when he ascended up on high, after he fulfilled his, he was obedient to his calling, his sacrifice. He went back to the right hand side. OK, of the most high. And what does that mean? He's just sitting there. I can't wait to fully understand that. But what he does is he sends us down the Holy Spirit and acts as mediator to bring us back. Right. So captivity is then led captive. Because what were we in captivity to thoughts, holdups, doubts, the flesh, Babylon, Esau's plans. See, the people in this world are captive to these thoughts, to the God of this world, to the expectations of the God of this world. But see, through the Holy Spirit, captivity is led captive through the gifts that he's given unto men. 
All right. And he first had to come onto the earth through the loins and lineage of David and, and, and be offered up, go through hell, go through the straight gate. All right. And here are the gifts. <laughs> All right. Here are the gifts. Verse 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers for the perfecting of the saints. See that? And you all are being perfected now in your fervency for this word, for the true gospel, for the true testimony are indicators that you're an Israelites, man. For the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Amashiach, till we all, all of the elect, come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Amashiach. And what happens... <laughs> What happens when that uh, uh uh when that when that number is fully set? When you read Revelation the seventh chapter, the destruction comes. Once the the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha are sealed, and when it's all said and done, he's gonna gather together all that in heaven and on earth, and it's gonna be a hundred and forty four thousand. And a large multitude which are gathered out of all nations, which are all Israelites. Call hello Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So the the the, the gift. Woo! Second Timothy 1 and 6. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of mine hands. Man. Hebrews 6 and 4. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers all right, of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of the powers to come. If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify themselves, the son of the most high afresh and put them to an open shame. So you fall out, you tasted of this, this heavenly gift and you went back into the world knowing what was going to happen to this world. Knowing what the promise entailed, you ain't worried. You through. Right? You through, fam. All right? So, I think that's it, man. I was just thinking of another scripture. Okay? First Peter 4 and 10, As every man hath received the gift... Even so, minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of the Most High, man. Every good gift, James 1 and 17, and every perfect gift is from above, okay, and cometh down from the Father of lights, in whom no is no variableness, neither no shadow of turning. You're telling the Lord that there is variableness, all right? Because what does that word mean? By you saying... These brothers who are out laboring, who, who who happen to look like heathen. Okay. Oh, I, I know the exact scripture I want to get and I'll end it off. Para para lag guy guy. <laughs> Change. Basically, you said and the Lord only is gonna give that spirit unto Israelites. We'll end it off here, man. This this is the final cut to you losers out there. You black ass mad. Okay, uh, 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 Grandma Ye, VSOP, and fried chicken eating niggas, which is nothing wrong if you drink that. Okay, but there's uh, niggas in dark liquor and fried chicken are a bad mix when you got a demonic spirit on you. It don't mix. We've actually witnessed it when we were first in, you know, or early in. You know, brothers were eating, drinking. What were we drinking? Paul Masson. We had some from chicken, some fried chicken from some, you know. And we were arguing and in and, 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 and weeks. It was like, damn, what's wrong with us? And we figured out it was that dark liquor, that cheap dark liquor and that chicken. That fried chicken, man. Esau put something in that and see now we've overcome through the Holy Spirit changed our diets changed you know got a better quality of drink if we do drink but overall 
you know, you guys are stuck in a dark place because you have gotten the gift, but then you took the gift and got proud with it. So you didn't grow past skin color. You haven't grown past the Jews are black. That's it. Christ is black. That's all you niggas talk about. Okay. Now what? Break down the virgin birth. Break down Ezekiel 37. Break down Revelation 12. You can't. So you wiggle around our videos and find something you don't like and put a comment out there. This is <laughs> Second Edris chapter 2. All right. In 32 or 31. I do not remember how is the way. All right. How this way may be left. Are they then of Babylon better than they of Sion? Like why are these heathen winning and we losing, right? Or is there any other people that knoweth thee besides Israel? Or what generation have so believed thy covenants as Jacob? The people you're saying aren't Israelites are crying for the covenants. The covenant of Yahweh Bashimel shall to be established. And yet their reward appeared not, and their labor have no fruit. For I've gone here and there through the heathen, and I seen that they flow in wealth, and think not upon thy commandments. You're telling me heathen are, are, are thinking upon the Lord's commandments? Crying for the covenants? Weigh therefore our wickedness. Now in the balance, and theirs also that dwell in the world, and thou, and so shall thy name be nowhere found but in Israel. Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. That's it. That's all. Shalom.